Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to everybody, happy holidays. I hope everybody enjoyed their happy Thanksgiving. I know I definitely did. And to my returning subs, my grown extended family, just thank you for the love and support. You know, we're going down this journey, and I know it can be frustrating and hard and tedious at times, but keep pressing on. If you need to take a break, take a break. But knowing that you will survive and you will conquer. So with all that being said, much love to y'all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell at the bottom, so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. And if you're comfortable now, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback and the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. And also, if you feel like the video has been, um, you know, informed it to you or just gave you some good vibes that you would love to share with your loved one or friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites as well. And once again, thank you so much for the love and support. And I hope you're able to, you know, get resonate with the content of my video. And today my video, um, oh, today my uh, meditation music I'm listening to is called Bamboo Water Fountain, Tibetan Bowls, White Noise for Sleep, Steady Meditation Yoga 10 Hours. And I'll post that link in the description box below. And today I'm doing a video of uh, Twin Flame 101. Empaths taking action. It's just like y'all, I've like I've been like I tell y'all, I get so many emails today. And it's so beautiful that um so many people are telling me, you know, Rosalind, I've been through this, I've been through that, but they're not allowing things to slow them down. You know, they might have questions like Rosalind, what am I doing? You know, am I going down the right path? You know, a lot of people well, not a lot of people, but some people, you know, they, they need that validation just to know. I know there's sometimes I need to know sometimes, but that's nothing wrong with that, you know. And it's just like when you know that you're taking action on your life, gaining your power, because there's so many of us have been through abuse. We have been through, I mean, it doesn't have to just be with sexual. It could be emotional, mental, physically, verbal. You know, it can be anything like that to the point where... You know, you second guess yourself sometimes. And, you know, and that's, we do that. You know, we're human. We do that. And it's, even though we're stuck in this human body, you know, we tend to do humanly things. So it's just like when we do, you know, uh, when I read all the comments and stuff like that, you know, y'all touch my heart. Y'all really do. And y'all tell me, you know, like, well, not, you know, I'm not trying to make the long story so short or anything like that. But, you know, you're just trying, you're just trying to get answers. You just want to know. You know, what is this I'm going through? You know, is, is this normal? Or, you know, is there a label for this or whatever? You know, because there's so many times we could go through kundalini, don't know when we're going through it. We can go through ascension phases, don't know it. Go through spiritual awakenings, you know. And it can lead towards big and promising things, but that mess will put you through hell <laughs> whatsoever, especially dark night of the soul. That is just... Is just crazy, but it's good to actually go through that because it's like everything we have to go through is a necessity, it's, it's something inevitable. We had no choice but to go through it. But it's just like when I tell y'all, when, you, when you're like, Rosalind, this is my problem, but I don't know how to go through this, and it's just like it's amazing every time I hear that. But they're like, I want to do this, I want to do that, and I said, Y'all just answered your question right there. <laughs> y'all just answer the question right there if you already know you, you got all these things that you want to do and you're like i need to change this i need to change that when you know you can look up in a day and it's just like you know it's going to take process it's going to take a process but when you know when you when you know what your faults flaws or faults are or whatever you're trying to right your wrongs it's going to take a process but it's just like when you know all the things it's like with me I, my temper you know there's a lot of times I can say I'm proud of myself because there's so many times I want to lash out <laughs> I want to lash out and clap back so bad I don't do that I don't do that it's, it's just like I had an incident on live the other night now I already say I wasn't gonna bring that up but I'm just using an example I have ignorant people want to come at me you know when you press out positive things and you're going out on a positive way 
you'll have ignorant people come at you talking about in this you know you want you you want to bring out racial slurs and to me it's just like that small-minded when you see people trying to press out positivity i don't i don't see color i don't i see ignorance <laughs> i see that you know but i don't see color when it comes to people you know if if you're white yellow brown purple whatever it doesn't matter to me as long as you have respect for yourself and respect for me i really don't care but it's just like when people come at you and it's just like the devil plays on try to play on your weakness. The devil will do that. Especially if you got something good going on for you. You know, at first I started doing the videos, but I was, you know, other YouTubers like, why well, don't you do live? You know, you, you get more things this way. You, you know, you get to, you know, meet a lot more people that way. I was terrified to do that just because of ignorant shit that happened like that. Just because of that, excuse me, but just because of inner, inner, ignorant things like that. But I didn't allow what that person or person affect on their ignorance trying to lash out on me, stop my process. Mm -hmm. And I used to have a bad habit of allowing that to happen to me. Like people would throw things on me and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to stop doing that. And it was just like, today I didn't do live and it's not because... I was scared about what people were going to do. I said, all, all I can do is just block you and just say deuces and call you stupid. Just because you had enough nerve to come at my, you know, come at me like that and then want to do that. I, I'm like, look, stupid. <laughs> I'm not going to, I don't have time for that. You know, it'll make me go into a narcissistic rage and I don't even have that on me. But, you know, that'll put me there. But it was just like, you know what, I just blocked that person and kept going. And then we just kept going and, you know, talking about other things. And it's just like, when you have people coming at you, it's just like when you know you're going towards something positive. Everything has a balance to it. You're going to have ignorant things coming at you. You're going to have negative things coming at you. You're going to have stupid things coming at you. And it could be, you know, it, it could be anything. It could be what a person or it could be a situation or something, you know, it's always something that wants to throw on your path when you're like, oh, I'm going to have a good day. And it was like, ha, no, you're not. <laughs> or if you are, let me see how you're going to be able to do it with, with this thrown at you. And it was like, you know, I never had anybody coming at me like that. But I've seen racist stuff go on. But when it comes to somebody actually calling me out my name like that, I was like, wow, how smile minded that person was. So I'm just like, is that only word you can come up with? I mean, and it's just like with an N word, I'm just like, dang, that, that doesn't have a color code to it. Because that could be anybody. And I, I don't show those. I don't show those, none of those signs coming through my videos. I push out love. I push out awareness. I push out info. I don't, I don't do ignorant minded stuff. I don't talk about, you know, racist stuff. I, I don't have a racist bone in my body. But I'll clap back at you real quick. But it's just, I'm not going to allow nobody to bring me out my character like that. But when you take action on your life and don't allow people to take your power like that, you know they're going to be some ignorant ass people going to come at you stupid just because they're stupid. Now, I call them stupid real quick because you, that's stupid. You know, whatever, you know, you want to do white power, black power, whatever, you just keep that shit away from me. Because, I mean, I, I'm not all about diversity or separating people. I feel like love, unity, you know, peace, happiness, that's the type of stuff I like. You know, but it's just like you keep pressing on. Don't allow nothing to stop you doing what you need to do. You keep pressing on. And it's just like, you know, devil will love to throw that in the mix. It's like, oh, let me, she doing too much. She putting out too much love out there. Let me go ahead and throw some ignorant, you know, backwoods person back here and then go ahead and you know insult her real quick and go ahead and throw her off her game i'm like ah oh, that didn't bother me i just kept going so it's just like i, I was proud of myself for that even though it kind of hurt me a little bit i was just like you know what don't even worry about it that lets you know because my mom always said they got some ignorant folks out there in the world that's taught stuff like that but you have to you know look over it so it's just like when you go in for something, go for what you know. Go for more than what you know. Know that you have that confidence and that strength to get through anything no matter what is thrown at you because you're taking that action. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. I had, hope y'all have a blessed, safe weekend. Much love to you. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are blessed, highly favored, and truly loved. And knowing that there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. And my post notification shot out. Let me see who am I going to say today.
Katie Stat. I hope I on this. Yeah, I hope I said the name right, Stat. So much love to you, sis. Thank you for uh dropping a comment to me. And please don't be a stranger. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like and even share on your social media favorites. Um, drop me a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And make sure you drop that line. Let me know you're on the notification squad so I can go ahead and give you a shout out on my next video. And most important, like and subscribe. You can hit that notification bell so you know when your girl about to upload the next video. Have a safe, blessed weekend. Be responsible at everything you do. And much love, peace, and be wild.